Second scenario, if air engine 1 and 2 bleed fault comes out, cross bleed shut and wing anti-ice off. As always, avoid icing conditions. If you want ice on your coffee, just ask the cabin crew to take it from the galley compartment. Dear guests, welcome back to the channel. Today, let us talk about Airbus' latest OEB, OEB 60. Now, this OEB is mainly for the A320 Neo family and is regarding the loss of bleed air leak detection capability. Do check out my video on A320 Air Bleed 1 and 2 fault. So, during Airbus flight testing, they found out that there are some connection problems with the overheat detection system or OHDS for short. Because of this, there might be a possible loss of bleed air leak detection system. This only affects for new powered aircrafts that are not equipped with gold plated connectors. This can be fixed when the aircraft goes under its routine maintenance procedure. Until then, Airbus release a RAID OEB for critical leak events. So there are possible two procedures that will come out of it. Number one is air engine one or two abnormal pressure and number two air engine one or two bleed for ECAM alert. So the action we need to take is to isolate the leak and we do that by turning off the bleed source of the affected side and closing the cross bleed valve. Once we isolate it, do not reset it. It is like once you break up with your girlfriend, don't look back and just move on. Before we go into the actual procedure, let us talk about MEL, Minimum Equipment List. Dispatch is allowed with one bleed air system not working if the ECAM air engine one or two bleed abnormal pressure alert comes out. But because now we have a detection issue, we are not sure if there is a bleed leak. With the new revision, now we have to confirm there is no bleed leak before dispatching the aircraft. A new maintenance procedure is added and a new operational procedure is added. In general, for dispatch, one bleed system is required for non-EDTO flights if the air engine 1 or 2 bleed and normal pressure alert is displayed during the previous flight, we need to make sure there is no bleed leak and the inoperative engine bleed push button is set to off. Cross bleed set to open and speed brakes is working. For EDTO flights, make sure the APU is running throughout the flight and APU bleed is working. Do check out my video on EDTO operations. For operational procedures, check if your route might have potential icing conditions because your wing anti-ice will be lost if you lose the remaining bleed system. After the engine starts, switch off the inoperative engine bleed, switch off the affected packs and open the cross bleed selector. After takeoff, if you are using the APU bleed, switch it off. When in flight, if the remaining engine bleed system goes kaput, apply OEB60 which we will get into. And if the opposite pack fails, then switch on the affected pack. Do note that wing anti-ice control valve can be inoperative provided it is in the closed position. Now let us have a look at OEB60. To refresh your memory, the root cause for this OEB is connection issues with the overheat detection system. Because of this, you might not get a bunch of alerts. But in case there is a bleed leak, then these two alerts will appear. Air engine 1 or 2 bleed abnormal pressure or air engine 1 and 2 bleed fault. Okay, at any time there's a cabin pressure, excess cabin altitude ECAM message comes up, apply the procedure. First scenario, if air engine 1 or 2 bleed abnormal pressure comes out, affected engine bleed off. If it is concerning engine number 1, set APU bleed off. Cross bleed shut, wing anti ice off, avoid icing conditions. But if there is severe ice accretion, to avoid stall speed must be at least VLS plus 10 knots or green dot. Apply the landing procedure. And remember not to reset the affected bleed. Second scenario, if air engine 1 and 2 bleed fault comes out, cross bleed shut and wing anti-ice off. As always, avoid icing conditions. If you want ice on your coffee, just ask the cabin crew to take it from the galley compartment. If severe ice secretion, speed must be green dot or at least VLS plus 10 knots. Maneuver with care and apply landing distance procedure if you have ice secretion. Do you know why? Of course you do use sexy bus. APU bleed off, engine 1 bleed off, engine 2 bleed off and descend to flight level 100 MEA or Mora. If you are flying over the Tibetan plateau, good luck. When at or below flight level 100 or MEA or Mora and differential cabin pressure is less than 1 PSI, ram air on and your maximum cruising altitude is flight level 100 MEA or Mora. Do not reset any engine blitz. Okay, done. Thanks. Bye.